Hello students and friends, welcome to my YouTube channels. Today our topic is homogeneous linear partial differential equations which is belongs to unit 1 only and this math 3. So before already this 2 or 3 videos I given uh, elementary of arbitrary constant, arbitrary functions, then Lagrange's equations, method of grouping, method of multipliers. Now this same units, this last part homogeneous linear partial differential equations. So this very important part here you can get the big questions also. So now let us see here what is the equation for this homogeneous linear partial differential equations. A0 dou, dou n z by dou x n dou power y that is called 1 also you can write. Anything power anything power 0 is 1. Okay. So just uh, in writing the linear order, I wrote this dou y power 0, then dou power 1, square, and n. Here, a0, a1, a2, a3, these are the constant. These are the constant. Now, a0, a1, a2 are the constants, okay? So now, this we can reduce in this form. Suppose dou by dou x nothing but d, and dou by dou y equal to d dash. So differentiate with respect to x will be d differentiate with respect to y will be the d dash. So we change this a0 dn because dou n power z by dou n equal to d power n. d by power 0 is 1. So here dn minus 1 d dash because y a2. Similarly this is the equations for the partial linear partial differential equations. Now what is the complementary function? How will become the complementary function that is shortcut CF complementary function? If put d is equal to m and d dash equal to 1, then will become the complementary function. Okay. So complementary functions once will convert that is called auxiliary equations AE. Auxiliary equations AE. What is the equations? A0 m power n, A1 m power m1 m1 dot dot an. Now what is the m1, m2, m3, mn is the root of this equation. If you find the root of these equations, we can write the complementary function. We can write the complementary function. So, okay. So, what is the complementary function? Case 1. Case 1. If, if all the roots are real and imaginary. If the, all the roots are real and imaginary. If all the roots are real and imaginary imaginary and different imaginary and this is the main different if same will be there now that is case 2 case 3 like this will be there all roots are real and imaginary and should be different like uh, then what is the cf complementary functions we can write so this is the format f1 y plus m1x this will be the common for all the problems if all roots are real imaginary and different real or imaginary and different okay so plus f2 y plus m2x plus dot 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 fn y plus mnx okay if two roots are equal like m1 equal to m2 equal to m that means two roots two roots are equal then what is the cf what is the cf this is the general format for the cf now two roots are equal so right here f1 y plus mx because m1 equal to m2 equal to m plus two roots are equal now you multiply x f2 y plus m mx so two roots are equal. This is the part. Then as usual we will write here f3 y plus m3x plus dot 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 will write. Okay. If now three questions, three roots are equal. If three roots are equal that means m1 equal to m2 equal to m3 equal to m. Then what is the CF? General terms you see here. If three roots are equal what is the complementary functions? So f1 as it is right, y plus mx plus x plus x into f2 y plus mx 
then three roots are equal then x square into function of y plus mx then as usual what will come f1 f3 f1 f2 f3 then f4 y plus m4 x plus dot 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 will be there so what you are observing here this is the general complementary function for all roots will be different if two roots are equal na m m because m1 equal to m2 m, but multiply x as usual three na x x square and as usual if four roots are equal so x cube like this will be there this is the complementary functions format so once they will give the linear for homogeneous linear partial differential equation problems we have to write the complete solution complete solution is nothing but cf plus pi cf plus pi what is cpi particular integral if particular equation i will give this expression uh, given the questions we will discuss again if cf only if right side terms will be zero then only cf will find that is called complete solution if right side terms will be there either exponential either algebraic either trigonometric either mix of the two either exponential trigonometry algebraic trigonometry then we will find the particular integral this having different rule this having different separate rule so once we will solve the question we will give this particular integrations details okay so now we'll take first how the questions will ask and how find the complementary function then we'll go one by one particular integral also okay okay friends so now i will take one questions i will take one questions now okay so this i'm going to rub it then i'll take one questions so one simple questions i will take now one simple questions i will take suppose how the question they will ask d square 2d square plus 5d d dash plus 5d d dash plus 2d dash square z because function of z equal to 0 so no no rhs term so that means only we will find the complementary functions so see here 2d do is d square what is d d nothing but do by do x t dash nothing but do by do y already told so this is second degree equation see here d dash but here 1 1 here also t dash you have to see always two degree equation the every terms will be two terms will be there d square here d d 1 1 here d square so now what we'll do we'll write the auxiliary equations how we'll write the auxiliary equations put d is equal to m and d dash equal to 1 and we'll get the auxiliary equations what is 2m square plus 5m plus 2 because d is equal to m d dash 1 so 1 equal to 0 this is called auxiliary equation so then we have to write the complementary functions now how will write complementary functions i need root i need the root of this so second degree equation the two value will come m value will come to so here i'll give one general solution general format to get the roots okay some some problems you can write also here 3 plus 2 also right now we'll get but what i'm going to give one general solutions i'm going to give any type of second degree equations will be there you can find the roots with the quadratic equation ax plus ax square plus bx ax square plus bx plus c is equal to zero. That is called second degree equation. If like this equations will be there, what is the x value here? What is the x value here? Very beautiful formula is there. That formula is known as quadratic equation. So minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac. This is the formula. Divide by 2a. Divide by 2a. This is the formula to get the x value. Now see here. If we'll for this particular problem, if we'll see here a is equal to how much? A x square. So here m square. So a is equal to two. B is equal to five. Carefully you see how we'll calculate. And c is equal to two. Now we'll substitute in this formula. But here what value we'll get? M value we'll get because two m square plus five m plus two. But two two x square. So x value m na. I need m value. So m is equal to what we'll get? 
other method also is there, but this method, either real part, real root, imaginary root, complicated root, this equations they will give directly. Okay, so this uh, I think best way to calculate the root for the n equation. So b minus b minus 5 plus minus b square 25 minus 4ac 4 to 16 divide by 2 into 2 divide by 2 into 2. So okay, these things I'll rub it. Not required now. 2. So what will be there here? minus 5 plus minus 16 which will equal to 9 9 root 3 4 so what is your call m1 equal to minus 5 plus 3 by 4 then m2 equal to minus 5 minus 3 by 4 so what will come here 2 minus 2 by 4 so 1 root k minus m by 2 so m1 is equal to minus 1 by 2 here minus 8 by 4 so minus 2 so second root will be there that is called m2 is equal to 1 root m1 another root m2 is equal to minus 2. So second degree question is there not two roots will be there. Once you know the two roots what is the complementary functions. So see here f1 y plus m1x m1 na minus 1 by 2x 1 by 2x plus f2 y minus 2x y minus 2x. This is the complementary functions. So root, I told already so many method is there, but this method we will calculate now either imaginary root will be there, real root will be there, complicated root will be there, you will get the m1, m2 value directly. It will take only one minute time to invest here. Okay? So complementary functions you know. Now right side no term. So what is complete solutions is equal to cf. So you can write z is equal to f1 y minus 1 by 2x plus f2 y minus 2x this is called solution this particular problem this is the answer so complete solutions complete solution nothing but cf plus pi here pi equal to 0 because no right term right side term so pi equal to 0 so, okay this some um, two marks you can expect or six marks also you may expect not two marks six marks question you can expect Okay, now I will take the another questions. I will take the another questions. Okay. So, okay. Now, I will rub it this. So, now look, look this questions. DQ DQ minus 4D square minus 4D square D dash plus 4d dash 4d d dash 3 question no so is square definitely so 3 3 3 4d square d dash plus 4 minus 4 plus 4 d dash z equal to z equal to 0 again I am taking right side I am taking not not taking any terms okay so let us see here what is the auxiliary equations will come. So already you know d is equal to m, d dash equal to 1. So our auxiliary equations will be m cube minus 4m square plus 4m equal to 0. 4m equal to 0. So now m everywhere is there. Take m common. So m square minus 4m plus 4 equal to 0. So here what will get? Because th 3 degree equations the 3 roots will come. So first root m is equal to 0 and m square minus 4m plus 4 equal to 0. So he, this uh, will not go this format because directly I know a square m minus 2 whole square this value is coming m minus 2 whole square value coming or minus 2 minus 2 if you take na, you will get the direct. So some simple problems na, will not go there. So what is the m value here we will get 2 comma 2. So 3 value will be there. So what is cf here? f1 y plus 0x okay 0x you can write y also plus f2 y plus 2x but two roots are equal here so what you write x f2 y plus 2x so this is the complementary function for this particular problem if they will ask complete solution cf plus pi so here pi will be 
zero because no right term so pi will be zero so like this also equations you can solve so now the simple things is going on once rhs value will be there then you will see the real problems okay now we'll go one more one more simple questions then then we'll go the first pi questions okay so we'll see first very one simple questions yes this one questions i'll take now so this okay so step by you just go through and copy this all the problems okay okay now we'll take one questions d square minus d square minus 3d d dash plus d dash square z equal to 0 now see what is the auxiliary equations i'll as usual i told d is equal to m d dash equal to 1 so m square minus 3m plus 1 is equal to 0 so now this equation no, very easily you cannot factorize so you come here what is there a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus 3 c is equal to 1 substitute there immediately minus 3 so minus minus plus b plus b plus minus root plus minus root b square 9 minus 4ac so 4 by b na 3 na b will be minus b na minus minus plus so 3 2 into 1 so what we will get here 3 plus minus root 5 by 2 root 5 by 2 so now see root 5 you cannot get so this complicated part now so here once we will do the factor it will tough to get so here m1 this is called m is equal to so m1 is equal to what is 3 plus root 5 by 2 m2 is equal to 3 minus plus minus either no so first plus then minus minus root 5 by 2 2 equation 2 roots you got here so what is complementary functions here f1 y plus 3 plus 3 plus root 5 by 2 x plus f2 y minus y minus 3 plus root 5 by 2x so so you are getting the again complementary function so till now what were observed how to factorize how to factor you follow this quadratic equations rule you can write this now okay now i will go the first for first problem like right side some terms will be there that will take the exponential parts okay okay so we'll take now simple question okay this formula should be here if you it use now we'll do so we'll take the first rule of the p rule for first rule problems not rule for pi particular integral for exponential term for exponential terms exponential terms will be like this pi is equal to 1 by phi d comma d dash e to the power a x plus b y a x plus b y this is called exponential part so x with respect to x y with respect to y so dou z by dou x dou z by dou y so once like this terms will be there we will substitute here d is equal to a d dash equal to b so you will substitute here 1 by phi a comma b e to the power a x plus by provided phi a comma b not equal to 0 then this will be the solution now we'll substitute some value you will get some value but this term should not be 0 if 0 if 0 that is denominator if 0 then what we will do multiply x e to the power a x plus b y divide by this differentiate one time a comma b with respect to d if you differentiate now you can say here a comma b zero now so provided this should not be zero if zero multiply x write this term differentiate denominator one time if again zero if again here provided phi dash a comma b should not be zero 
what value you are substituting here okay so a comma b are substituting or you write here d d dash also nothing wrong then if 0 again what you write again multiply one more x e to the power e x plus b y divided by 5 double dash a comma b or d comma d dash if you are substituting same value if provided this a comma b should not equal to 0 if 0 then x cube then again three time differentiation up like this will be the this is the rule for the exponential term so very simple questions will be there here and this format will be very simple so one question i will give for this then we will stop this video one question i will give now this is a format okay so one question i will take very simple question so okay do square z do square z by do x square minus 5 minus 5 do square z y do x do y plus 6 plus 6 do square z by do y square is equal to e to the power x plus y e to the power x plus y now your right side terms will be there so once you write the complete solutions cf plus pi so immediately we will do this what will be there do by do x nothing but d so you can write here d square this first you have to change d square minus 5 d d dash plus 6 d dash square j d is equal to e to the power x plus y either they will give the problem in this format or this format so okay we converted now what will be the auxiliary equations for this d is equal to m d dash equal to 1 so what will be there m square minus 5 m plus 6 equal to 0 so immediately you substitute here what is a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus 5 b is equal to minus 5 and c is equal to 6 so minus b 5 plus minus b square 25 minus 24 24 by 2 into 1 so what is getting 5 plus minus 1 by 2 so this is called m is equal to m is equal to now what is m1 is equal to 5 plus 1 by 2 m2 is equal to 5 minus 1 by 2 so what will getting 6 by 6 by 2 3 4 by 2 is equal to 2 so what is root we got here 3 and 2. What is complementary functions? f1 y plus 3x plus f2 y minus y plus 2x. This is the complementary functions for this. Okay. This is the complementary functions for this. Okay. Now we will go the pi particular integration. Particular integration write this terms. What is d square minus 5 d d dash plus 6 d dash square e to the power x plus y now how to substitute already you know here d is equal to how much given x terms 1 what is d dash given here 1 substitute these two so substitute to this two what will come 1 square minus 5 1 into 1 1 into 1 plus 6 e to the power x plus y you solve this what will come here 1 minus 5 plus 6 1 minus 5 plus 6 so e to the power x plus y so 1 by 2 e to the power x plus y so this is the pi this is called pi now complete solution is equal to cf plus pi so how you can write the answer now we will see here how we will write the answer z is equal to f1 y plus 3x plus f2 y plus 2x plus plus 1 by 2 e to the power x plus y this is the complete solution this is the complete solutions for this okay so many more so many problems will be there i will do the next video some complicated problem for exponential then we'll go the second parts okay so what you have to do you write the problem step by just copy also copy only and solve this question then you will understand the better okay okay friends thank you and subscribe to this channel okay okay thank you